Hey there, hey there, and welcome to Kingdom Kids. Welcome to the castle. I am Miss Courtney, and I am so excited to do this show. We are talking about solutions from a kid. So on this first half, though, I have two fabulous princesses with me. I have Princess Tinley, and I have Princess Sunday. How are you all? Good. All right. So... Basically, we're just going to talk about some things. Some of them are kind of fun. Some of them are kind of serious. But, you know, sometimes adults need our help, you know. So we're going to try to help out just a little bit, but I'm going to start you off easy, okay? Okay. All right. So at what age do you think a person really is an adult? And why do you think that? Who wants to go first? Me. Okay. 52. 52. A person is an adult at 52. Girl, I'm so glad you think I'm still a kid. Thank you. <laughs> so why do you think 52? Because I know some grown-ups are 52. You, oh, you know some grown-ups are 52. Girl, don't tell who they are, though. People, people don't want other people to know their age. <laughs> don't tell nobody who it is, okay? All right, what about you, Sunday? Uh... Uh, I think 20. 20? All right. 20's, yeah, 20 is a good age. Why do you think 20? Because my cousin's 20. Because your cousin's 20? They grown, huh? Mm -hmm. They an adult? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right. Here is your first, like, serious question, okay? And we're going to just talk about our homeless community, all right? So, how do you think that we could help our homeless a little bit more. And in thinking about this, some of them are kids. So how do you think we can help our homeless community more? You want? You going? Oh, yeah. Come on. Um, to buy them a hotel or get them an apartment. Buy them a hotel or get an apartment. Cool. You got anything? What you got? Uh, to get them some food. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. That's all. And both of what you have said is absolutely amazing because I actually love both of those. And I really thought about, like, getting, like, a hotel or, you know, some type of building. There's Because there's a lot of buildings around town that are, like, boarded up and old hotels. Do you think we could use those? Yeah. yeah. I think we could. I think that would be a great thing. So, A, they are giving you solutions. So, adults out there, because I'm still a kid, listen up, okay? They're giving you ideas. So, but I think that is absolutely wonderful um, to give them a building and to give them food. Because, I mean, we all need food, right? Yeah. Ain't nobody trying to be hungry, for real. <laughs> I'm a little hungry now, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're going to move on. All right. So, fun question. What is the hardest thing about being a kid? Um. Mm. Oh, you going first again? Oh, you yeah. just ready. Okay, well, come on then. Doing hard questions that you really don't know. Okay. So, doing or answering those hard questions. Can you give me a, an example of one of those hard questions? Do you need a moment to think about it? Cause I can like nope. 92 times <laughs> 100. Okay. All right. So just thinking about the hard questions, that's what's the hardest thing about being a kid. Okay. What, what do you have? I was about to just say math. You was about to say <laughs> math too? <laughs> okay. So the hardest thing about being a kid. Well, I'm is really math. good at math, but not like big numbers and times. Okay. All right. Well, you got time. You got time. You're going to. It's going to be forever before you're a grown-up. <laughs> so, so, you got, so you have plenty of time, okay? All right. Um, anything else I want to add to that one? Because we're just rolling right along here. We're rolling right along. Sometimes reading. Sometimes reading. Okay. All right. Anything else you nope. want to add? Nope. you like, I'm good. It's math, and it is what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Another serious question for you, Okay. Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, we, we love you. Listen up, because they got something for you, hopefully. We're going to see. <laughs> so if you were the Vice President of the United States, how would you help with people 
who are at the border? Uh, she can go first this time. <laughs> <laughs> How would you help with that? Uh, I need some time to think. We need some more time to think about that one? Yeah, I'm going to sure. come back. We're going to roll back to that one? Yep. <laughs> yep, we're going to roll back to that one. Okay, so, um, okay, here's a lighter, a, li a little bit lighter question. Are you a good friend? Yes or no? Um, and why? Oh, and why do you think so? She going. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, yeah, she's going. <laughs> okay, so yeah, do you think you're a good friend? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because whenever my friend needs help, I help her. Awesome. Awesome. Way to be a good friend. Back to you. <laughs> um, I think I am a good friend. Okay, why do you think that? Um, because I show respect to my friends. Come on, respect. Because I show respect to my friends. Come on. All right, so helping and showing respect. I mean, those, I feel those are two of the greatest traits that any friend could have. Helping them out, showing respect, you know, and just being there for them. All right, let's see. We're still gonna come back to that that other question. We're coming back to it, so don't forget it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So your students, and I'm a teacher, but if you were principal of your school, what's one thing you would do to make sure that all the students felt safe and loved in the building? Uh, what would you do if I'll you were first. principal? I would um, give them some, some expectations. Come on, expectations! Okay. Um, it felt like you was going to say something else. Should I come back? <laughs> yeah. Okay, she's going to give expectations. If you were principal for a day, what would you do to make sure all students felt safe and loved? Hmm. I would... Uh, I don't know what I'll do. Okay, well, let's think about your principal. What does your principal do to ensure that you kind of feel safe and loved in the school community? I've only see, I only see my, my principal when I'm coming in from my bus. Really? Real? Hey, principal, I'm going to need you to come out, come out more. Come out the office more, okay? I'm gonna need you yeah, to come like out. Yeah, my principal, but my principal comes in everybody's room to make sure they're safe. Yeah. That's what you need. There, I mean, there it is. There it is. That's what you need. So if you were principal, you make sure you come out of that office and see the kids, <laughs> right? Right? I think that I think okay. that's your answer because you don't. You just said you don't see them often, right? Yeah, so if you were principal, I think Wait. you just visiting the classrooms and making sure that, you know, they know you're here and for them. I think that would be, like, okay, way know. cool. Ooh, you got something else. I'm going to say, um, for the love, <laughs> the love um, let them play, let them play outside um, for recess as long as they want. <laughs> Girl, that's every kid's dream. <laughs> we just want to play outside all yeah. day long. I want to stay inside and sleep. You want to stay inside and sleep? sleep? Honey, if they would let us sleep in the building, I would be knocked here. Yeah. Knocked. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, we got a little bit of time left. I still want to come back okay. to this question. I'm going to give you a second to think about it. Wait, what was the question again? Okay, please. please, please. <laughs> if you were vice president of the United States, how would you help with all the people at the oh, border? I oh, I know. You got it now? How would you help? I have to think about what I said. How would you help with people at the border? Because remember, there's moms to, and dads and kids. Think about what I said in the car. What'd you say? Oh. I said something important. 
Um, and Timmy is having a brain fart, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and it's okay because it happens. It happens to the best of us. It's okay. I have no idea what I said. I forgot. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe we can skip that. Oh, because yeah. if I didn't say it at the beginning, and I'm pretty sure I didn't, we're going to have some gentlemen on here on the second half. So maybe they will be able to answer that question. Okay. But one more question for you, ladies, and we are going to wrap it up. If you could invent something that would make life easier, Ooh, what I, would I, it I be? I totally know this. You totally know this, girl. Yes. You totally know it. Well, come on and totally to make, give it to me. To make a potion that um that can help me know all the answers. <laughs> Drink it. I go to sleep. I wake up, go to school tomorrow, and I know all the answers. Okay. So she's going to make some smart juice. That's what you're going to make, right? Just just all knowledge juice. Yeah, That's what that. you're going to make. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> Sunday, what are you going to invent? Well, this is more for the homeless people. Okay. Well, come on. A food machine. A who machine? A food machine. A food machine. Now, do they have to put anything in it or do, you know, they, they have just to go put push the word them? that they <laughs> they have to put the food that they want uh -huh. in, and then you just grab it. Okay, so so kind of like the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. He just types in what it is, and it just rains down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I will take down. that. Except it doesn't rain down. Except it doesn't rain down. No rain. No raining down. Mm. Okay. Okay. We're good. We got that. Okay, ladies. Well, thank you so much. It was awesome sitting here with you and hearing your answers and hopefully um all of you adults out there 52 years of age and older <laughs> are listening and can use some of these ideas or just ask your uh kiddos some of these uh questions and see what you come up with so right now we're going to take a short break and i will be back with our gentlemen. Yes, I will be back with the boys. So we will be back in just a second. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Deacon Karen, and, to, and on our next episode, we're going to be having a discussion about drugs, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I hope that you will join us because I have lots of information that I want to share. Hey there, we are back with part two and I am joined, joined, excuse me, by Prince Darius and Prince Jacoby. So welcome to the castle. Y'all ready to give some adults some solutions on some stuff? Yes. yes. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, so your first question, What? at what age do you think a person is an adult and why? Uh, 21. 21, okay. 20. And 20, ooh, one year younger. So, so yeah, so he gets to be in a, in a, an adult before you, basically. <laughs> you have to wait one more year. <laughs> okay, why, why do you think that? One of the ladies said because her cousin is 20, but why do you feel that way about the ages that you picked? Uh, because I know somebody that's 20 and it's like adult. Okay, because you know somebody who's 20 and that's the adult. Same thing for you? No. Nah. <laughs> You're just using knowledge. you like 21 and I'm good. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so um, let's think about um, something serious. Let's think about our homeless community. And some of our homeless community includes kids. So what can we do? How can we help? our homeless community. We can give them food and a shelter. Okay, give them food and shelter. You got anything, Jacoby? Give them food and, and keep the money so I can buy them a house. Okay, okay. So he, so uh, the ladies also said this about the same thing, you know, talking about shelter and food. Um, what do you think about all the all the buildings and things that are boarded up. You think we can use those? Yes. I think I think we can. I think there's there's good stock here. We just gotta use it. We have the things, but we just need some people to go on out and do it. Y'all y'all think y'all think y'all can help? 
Can y'all help some of the adults go out here and do it? Yes. yes. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, a lighter question for you. What's the hardest thing about being a kid? You can do stuff that you're able to do when you're grown up. You can't do <laughs> you can't do some of the things. You got to wait until you're grown. What you got? Um getting older. <laughs> Just get it. Old. What? So you try to stay this age kind of like forever, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I you know what? I can't blame you. How old are you? 7. You're se You know, yeah. 7 7 was a good year. I liked it. It was. But according to, you know, Miss Princess Tinley, I'm I'm not an adult yet. So that works for me. <laughs> All right, friends. Okay. So do I need to come back to our vice president question, or are you all ready for that? Uh, I'm ready. You ready for it? I'm ready? ready. Okay. If you had the chance to be vice president of the United States, how would you help families and kids at the border? I would go to the president. If I have an idea for something, I would go to the president and tell him what it is. Okay. Just go go on straight to the president. Here's what we're gonna do. What you got? I'll try to make a bridge and make everybody be friends. Okay. See people, this stuff is easy. We got this. Let's go on and help families and kids and keep them together in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So we're gonna keep going. Alrighty, lighter question for you. Are you a good friend? And yeah. why do you think so? I'm a good friend, and I think I'm a good friend because I like to hang out with my friends all the time. Okay, so you'll hang out with them and just relax and chill. Yeah. What about you? Because, like, if they're hurt, um, I can tell the teacher and I can help them get back up. Okay. Thank you for being a good friend. Thank you, because I know, I know some people, um, they like to just watch, because you said if they're hurt, you're going to help them get back up. Some people just like to watch. So I commend you and thank you for, you know, being an awesome friend and making sure that you help your friends up. So thank you so, so much. All right. Moving right along here. If you could invent something that would make life so much easier, what would it be? I would make a young youth post potion so when I get into old, I can just get, drink it and get younger. Okay, so kind of like a fountain of youth thing. You're going to drink some, some young juice, is what I'm going to call it. Some make me young again juice. <laughs> and go ahead. All right, Jacoby, what are you going to create? I'm going to create... A uh, airplane that like you can sleep on if there's a long flight. Nice. So uh, so your airplane's gonna have beds on it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fly on that plane. <laughs> your airplane's gonna have beds for my long flight. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey Delta Southwest, all of y'all y'all listening? Beds. Okay. We need. We, some people just tired. We need to sleep. Okay. <laughs> all right. So let us keep rolling. So as students, you all have a principal. But if you were principal of your school, what would you do to make sure that students felt safe and loved in your school? I would make a lock that only the teachers know, and I would make, like, I forgot. You forgot? Okay, I'm going to come back to you. Because it started out good. I'm going to come back to you, okay? okay? So you think. I will make, like, lockers and stuff for all the students. And I'll make a locker in the office for the teachers and stuff. Campus or stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of need an extra place to put, you know, my stuff. I kind of do. I'll take that. I will take that. All right. Did you think of anything? Yes. Go for it. Lockers that have extra room in it. Yes, lockers that have extra room because some of them are tiny. Some of them are little. And I and 
I just watch my kiddos at school trying to shove their things into the locker. Oh, that they share, by the way. So it's one locker split down the middle and they got to share that side. So thank you. Thank you for getting some lockers that are going to be big enough. Okay, thank you, Kobe. All righty. Um, let's see. We, we went through pretty much almost all of our questions. So I'm going to ask you an extra one because y'all was just answering it. I'm going to ask you one more. And I'm going to give you time to think about it. If you could give one gift to every single child in the world, what would it be? If you could give them one gift, if you can give one gift to every single child in the world, what would it be? It would be a button that when you push it, uh, you have to say a word, what, what you want and it will come. Okay, so that means I, it'll be like a button just somewhere and if I want it, I'm just gonna push it and say what I want and there it is. Cool. Um, I need one of those kind of now, though. <laughs> Can you go ahead and, and, and go on and make that happen for me? I know I'm still a child, okay? I'm still a child because 52 is an adult, so I'm still a child. Can I get one of those buttons? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, what you got? I'll invent a toy that, um, that if you say what you want, it will give it to you. Okay. So I, I love this, just give it here. This is what I need, can I please have it? So awesome, awesome sauce. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much for your solutions. So again, adults out there, I hope you were listening. We have some solutions, we have some things that we need to get done. Things that can just, uh, buttons that can just give us things and how to help our families and our kids in our community. So I hope you were listening. I want to thank you for joining us here at the Castle on Kingdom Kids for solutions from a kid. And always remember to wear your crown and we will see you next time on SSC Live TV. Bye.